Today we will be installing an Emporia Pro electric vehicle charger. To get it set up for the uh, install we want, we're going to have to remove this factory whip here, take off the cover and do a little bit with the insides. We are going to start by taking the cover off here by removing these Phillips screws in the bottom. And this cover is kind of hinged at the top, so if you pull it from the bottom and swing it up, that's kind of the way to go. Then underneath that, we have these screws to take off to get into the actual internals of the uh, charger here. Be careful when you take off this door because there is a wire attached to it you don't want to tug on. And then we have our already factory um, installed whip here that we're going to be removing so that we can install our own hardwired one coming through the uh, backside of this box. Uh, take that out I'm not going to need this wire harness and then so because we won't be using that hole we need to fill it with a weatherproof seal here and previous to the video we made our little hole in the back here so that we can be hard wiring through the the reverse side. So now we're about to open up the panel that we're gonna be hardwiring from and knocking out so that we can pull our cable out and route it across the garage here. All right, so now we're in the main here. We have shut down power. We've taken off the dead front cover and I have penetrated the top and put our connector in for our new wire. So now we will be routing everything up and across the garage to get to our new location for where the charger will live. All right, so after we ran the wire to the panel, we just got it landed into the box here and then support it. So now we're going to install the 60 amp breaker for the car charger. So we have our charger here, we have our location. We are trying to get our back plate mounted. We have backing in here of wood, so we have nice sturdy place to mount. I'm just making sure that our back hole where we're gonna be penetrating is in the right place. Looking good there. All right, so we will go ahead and make that hole. Okay, that's where our wire is gonna be coming through. And then next, we will be mounting this back plate. Okay. All right, so after we get the wire terminated into the box, we're gonna make our connections. Um, we have a extra neutral wire that we don't need. So we're just gonna cap this off here. So we wanna make sure we have enough wire. So I'm just gonna cut this right here, wire net it. And then uh, the black, red, and the green are gonna land to these terminals here. So after we get the wire landed and terminated, um, we're just gonna put it back together. Um, can't forget the little low voltage clip here. All 
And so this is the final look of the cover. We have two screws that go to the bottom. We have some flexible CTs here that are gonna make sure that our system doesn't overload when we're charging on our car charger here. We just gotta wrap these around the main leads. So here is our Emporia that's actually going to be powering and taking these these uh, load calculations into its brain and feeding it back to us. So here is our powering harness. This is what's actually going to make this function. All right, well, it's in there nice and tight. Okay, so first one. Okay. This blue and white are both gonna go on the grounding bar over here on the right side. Feed that up through, get it seated with its little connector here. Okay. And then that is also going to attach to the right side of this. Like so. If you were to have a wired ethernet connection, it would go right above that. But since we're doing Wi-Fi, we're using this antenna. All right, so our second breaker here. with our pigtail so that we're connected to everything here on both our CTs and our power harness. Okay, now the next step is gonna be organizing and making this look a little nicer. This is amazing. So you said it's 60 amp. Did you have to do anything to my uh, panel? No, we didn't have to upgrade your electrical panel at all. So the Emporia Pro comes with the Power Smart load management. Oh. And so what that does is it'll detect how much power your house is using and it'll shut your car charger down if, if it's overloading. Okay. So no need There's for no risk. Yeah, no need for a, a service change.